Hello, Flame community. This is Jeff Kyle with the Flame Learning Channel. Among the many exciting features in the Flame 2024 release is a new workflow in Batch called Paste Special. The goal with this feature is to streamline common tasks, allowing artists to focus more on the creative side of our work. If you're familiar with the T-click technique, Paste Special takes that concept to the next level, not only making it more discoverable for new users, but also allowing you to move metadata around easier than ever before. To start, head on over to Batch. If you've been using Flame for a while, there's a good chance you're familiar with the concept of T-click. It's a quick and easy way to send all the metadata from one node or clip to another. If you have a clip that doesn't match the settings of your first clip in Batch, and you're connecting a fresh render node to that clip, chances are you'll want to send the metadata from the clip to the render node. With the render node selected, if you hold down T and click on the source here, when we take a look at the settings for the render node, you'll see that whereas before it was at its default state, now it's inherited the time code, range, and any other relevant information all at once. Paste Special gives you the opportunity to do that same operation and more. I'll take out a new render node to start fresh, and when I use the context menu to copy the source clip and then use the context menu on the render node, you'll see a new option called Paste Special. In it, you can see we have a few options. You can either paste all of the metadata, which is the behavior of a T-click. You can paste one of the pieces of metadata by selecting one of the available items in this list. Or you can go to the custom field and check off any of the metadata that you want to include in the paste. You might have noticed that some of these options are grayed out. This has to do with how Paste Special is context specific based on the metadata copied from the source and the metadata the destination accepts. In this case, the copy on the source clip copied all of the fields you see here that are not grayed out. A number of the fields in this list have some rather specific use cases. For example, the color space and source start frame fields are used when pasting into a burn-in metadata node that has those fields added in, allowing you to overwrite what is populated in the burn-in metadata. The bulk of the use cases will have to do with the render and write nodes, since that's where most of the metadata lies. If I try to paste special on a node other than the render node here, say on the resize node, you'll still be able to paste any relevant metadata. In this case, resolution is the only option available from the source I copied, and a t-click is no different from paste special. If I copy a resize node and take a look at a different resize node, looking at paste special, you can see that I have the option to paste all metadata, which is the same as a t-click, or I can paste either the resolution or the resizing options, which is referring to the resize fit method, fill, crop edges, letterbox, or center crop. The last thing to note is that copying isn't limited to batch. You're able to copy metadata from any clip in the software, whether it's on the desktop, in the library, or even inside of a sequence. Previously, if you wanted to bring in metadata from somewhere outside of batch, you would either have to keep track of all the metadata and manually enter it in, or bring the clip into batch and t-click to send the metadata to the node you wanted. Now, with Paste Special, once the clip is copied, you can head back into Batch and Paste Special into any node that accepts the metadata with a few simple clicks. If you like these videos and you're finding them helpful, please subscribe to the Flame Learning Channel and click the bell to stay notified about new content. Feel free to comment any questions or suggestions below. Until next time, thanks a bunch for watching. <laughs>